Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back. This is episode 20 of my Football Manager 2015 Arsenal career. We are at the very end of the season, uh, April 12th, 2015 to be exact. Just having a quick look at Aaron Ramsey's performance this season. He's not done too bad. Uh, average rating of 7.10. And a quick look at Jack Wilshire, real quick. And he's been not doing too bad either. He's been playing better in the central midfield position. 7.2. And Chelsea, they're beating Manchester City 2-0. And they've actually won the Premier League. So they've done the double because they won the Capital One Cup, I believe it was, earlier in the season. And now they've won the Premiership. So title is theirs. Uh, Liverpool winning 4-2. Manchester United to win 3-0. And Arsenal face Everton. And let's try and finish the season strong. Try and get a win here. Finish as high as we can. Hoping for second place, of course. And Sami Kadira going back into the team, switching for Wilshire. Uh, Andre, maybe. We've got Sanchez on the left right now, and Oxley Chamberlain on that right side, with Giroud up front. And I think that's how we're going to start. So here we go Arsenal versus Everton at the Emirates Stadium. Quick look at Everton's team. They've got Ross Barkley there, playing as a cam, of course. And then a quick team talk to the Arsenal boys. And listen keenly, listen passionately, one or two as well. Everton get the game underway. Let's try and finish with a victory. Come on, boys. Everton winning possession there. McGeady stealing it off Callum Chambers, I believe it was. And the ball through. Naismith gives Everton the lead 1-0. But no, it's been ruled offside, so it's not going to be allowed. And that's good news for us. As we go into the second half, we've got ourselves a corner, thumped in, and another goal from the store man. Alexis Sanchez scores his 21st goal of the season to give Arsenal a one-goal lead. Over an hour gone now, still Arsenal 1, Everton 0. Try and double our lead if we can, Mertesacker picking up a book in there. Everton got themselves a corner, and they now have an equaliser. It's Seamus Coleman who scores that equaliser from the corner. And come on, let's try and find ourselves a winner. Whilst we do these touchline team talks, we're on the attack. Ozil hits the post. And now Everton go on the counter attack. And cleared away the corner there. Callum Chambers is going to pick up that loose ball. Thumps it all the way back forward to Sammy Kadira. Now onto the left side for Kieran Gibbs. Sanchez crosses, cleared away. Alex Oxley Chamberlain gives Arsenal the lead yet again. Eighth goal of the season for the Ox. And we're now leading two goals to one. I'm going to make a quick substitution here. Danny Welbeck for Olivier Giroud. A little fresh legs up front. Try and sneak a third goal if you can. Here is Kadira. Plays it back towards Phil Jones. But Everton back in possession. Thumping it all the way forward. Chesney, what is he doing? The shot. Oh, my God. What was Chesney doing there? It's Aruna Kone who equalises for Everton, but that is all Chesney's fault. And now, Danny Welbeck has been injured, which is even worse news. So not only do we drop points, it looks like, Danny Welbeck's been injured as well. So Andre is going to come on, and I switched in for Alexis Sanchez. So Sanchez is playing as a striker in his last few moments. Can we steal a winner? Kieran Gibbs loses the ball, and Everton get it clear. That was probably Arsenal's last chance. Let's can do something here. Come on, Arsenal. No, there goes the final whistle. Arsenal 2, Everton 2. A poor result. We were leading 2-1 until Chesney tried to clear it way out of his area. And uh, Kone thumped into an empty goal. So 2-2, two -two, that one ended. Southampton winning 3-0 there against Hull City. Yoyo is no go. 14 goals this season for Blackpool. Yoyo Sonogo's got. So he's not had a bad season. On loan in the championship. And next up for Arsenal is an away tie against Hall City. Uh, Danny Welbeck out injured, as we know, so take him out. The jury can start up front, maybe. Uh, Octave Chamberlain scored in the last game, so will he be staying in the team? Look, Ramsey, Wilshire, Ozil, Sanchez again on that left side. Uh, Debushi, so Callum Chambers is getting a start as well. Come on, we need to keep fighting if you want second place. 
Abel Hernandez, Ramirez up front for Hull City and a quick team talk if they take something positive no in fact Alex Sanchez seems demotivated first time for everything I guess and still wasn't made, been able to make that green so never mind hopefully he still has a good game and Callum Chambers on the ball now for Arsenal six minutes gone and he gives that one away he's not been playing too great recently Callum Chambers has given the ball away far too many times and Hull City have taken the lead. It's Abel Hernandez. His 12th goal of the season for Hull City. Six and a half minutes gone and we're already behind. This is not what we wanted to happen, of course. Into the second half we go. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain pulls the ball back. And Ramsey looking for some space. Kieran Gibbs and Ozil. Sanchez, there we go. He's got the equaliser. His 22nd goal of the season. Alexis Sanchez scores again. Now, I'm going to have to take off Kieran Gibbs here because he has picked up an injury. So, on comes Monreal. It's the only change I'm making right now. Come on. Last minute of the game. It looks like he's going to end 1-1. Chesney kicks out straight to Brady. What a horrible ball that was. And there's a late chance there for Hull City to try and sneak it. But it looks like we're going to get a second draw in a row. Another poor result. Unless Sanchez can do something magical. He has picked up a knock. Here's Ozil Ramsey onto the wing. But there goes the final whistle. Wasn't able to find a winner in the end. And he finishes Hull City 1. Arsenal 1. And I'm not really happy with that. I don't really want to give him too much praise there. Two points behind Liverpool. And they do have a game in hand. Chelsea lost there against Everton. Good result for Everton. Manchester United also lost against Southampton. Few shock results there then, end of the season, or close to the end of the season. And what are we looking for? Schedule, let's have a, how many games we've got left? One, two, three games left. And we haven't won for three games now. Last game, last win was against West Brom and Jalbion, where we won 3-2. Quick look at all the other results there, Champions League. As long as we're into the Champions League next season, that's all I want. So next game up for Arsenal at home against QPR, 10th of May 2015. Can we get that second place spot ahead of Liverpool? It's going to be tough. And we're not in great form right now either. Yeah, but in goes Lauren Koscielny back into the defence for Arsenal. Uh, shall I put Kadira back in? I don't know. There you go, Matthew Debouche is going in because Callum Chambers, like I said earlier, he's not been playing too great recently. Even though his stats there say he's not done too bad, his recent form is actually 7.44. But as I've been watching him, he's been giving the ball away too many times. And Giroud's, I can't remember when the last time Giroud scored. Has he scored recently? I don't think he's scored recently, actually. So we're going to start with Theo Walcott up front. Sanchez on the left, Alex Oxley chamberlain on the right side. As it has been for the last few games. Uh, passionate team talk. There we go. Chesney and Kieran Gibbs both seem motivated from that little team talk. See what the midfielders say. Pressure's off. No, nothing noted, it says. So onwards we go. QPR get the game underway. And there's Koscielny winning the ball straight away from Arsenal. And we're on the attack here. Here's Kieran Gibbs looking to get the cross in. Pulls it back towards Aaron Ramsey. Ozil the area. And he scores. What a cracking finish that was. Mesut Ozil scoring his eighth goal of the season. Less than 10 minutes gone. And we're already in front. That's a great start for us. Let's try and push on. See if we get ourselves a second. Run the attack now with Theo Walcott. Still Theo Walcott. Oh, I think he's been taken down here. No. Ozil. Sanchez. Coming Arsenal. Oh, what a goal from Jack Wilshire outside the area. And that doubles Arsenal's lead. That is Jack Wilshere's fourth goal of the season. Hoping for more goals, actually, for Jack this season. But that was a cracker there. 2 0 Arsenal lead. Less than 15 minutes to go in this first half. We're on the attack yet again. Looking for a third. Here's Kieran Gibbs. Cross. Ozil at the near post. Makes it Arsenal 3. QPR 0. Ozil's second goal of the game. And just over half an hour gone. He's still got time to find a hat trick. And into the second half. Here's Jack Wilshire. Aaron Ramsey, Ozil, and he gets his hat-trick. There it is, 56th minute. Mesut Ozil scores his 10th goal of the season. 
claiming his hat trick and putting Arsenal 4 0 in front. And keep your looking to pull a goal back straight from kickoff, cleared away. And in fact, it's going to be a penalty here to keep your a chance to make it 4 1. The comeback is not going to be on. But, oh, great save, Chesney. Keeps the scores at 4 0 to Arsenal into the last minute we go. We've got ourselves a free kick, taken short. And now we're attacking with Kieran Gibbs, but he's actually lost the ball. We've won it back. Ramsey over the far side to Matthew Debussy. Tries to play it down the wing, but that one was red all along. And there is Charlie Austin, who lost it. And goes out for a QPR goal kick. And in fact, there goes a the full-time whistle. Arsenal 4, QPR 0. A good result there for the Gunners at the end of the season. And there, nice little team talk. We've got two games to go in the league. We can still grab that second place. We're just two points behind Liverpool. And five points ahead of Tottenham, who sit in fourth right now. And Tottenham actually drew two, uh, sorry, nil-nil with Chelsea. So Chelsea late on, dropping a few points, but they are the champions, so it's not the end of the world. Liverpool won, and Manchester City got a 1-1 draw away. And Juventus, they've done the, the double. And Arsenal qualify for the Champions League, which is fantastic news. And that's the minimum what we wanted to expect uh, to achieve. And board set initial budgets. This is for next season, is it? It is. 63 million. It looks like we might have to play with in the new season. Which is a nice figure. And Arsenal proposed contract talks with me. Yay! Transfer budget 63 million. Budget uh, wage budget 2.6 million. Play possession football, play attacking football, develop players using the club's youth system, sign high profile players, and no agreed ball requests. Okay. That's the, the agreed vision. We accept that, I guess. Or can I can I discuss it? It all seems pretty good. I don't mind signing a few high player profile players. And some youth, of course. There we go. We'll accept that. And Arsenal offer Scaife a new contract. Oh, nice. They're offering me a three-year contract. £110,000 a week. And the terms that we've already seen. So we'll have to view this one. Oh, we've got bonuses as well. Winning the Champions League, 700,000. FA Cup, 500,000. And is that good enough? Shall I try and get some more wages? 115,000 a week? No. I want a little bit of a longer contract, if anything. But we'll leave it to... Two oh, no. Look at that. We failed. It looks like we're not going to be signing a new contract with Arsenal unless we can do something about that in the coming days. You know, it's a bit of a shame. I you asked for 5k more, but I guess I've been too greedy. So, into the second to last game of the season. It's an away match against Newcastle United at St. James's Park. We had a good victory in the last game against QPR. And uh, Newcastle, where are they? Mid table. So, they're not really playing for anything. And we're playing for second place. So we've got more to lose than Newcastle have right now. And we've got Theo Walcott starting as a striker again. Trying to get him a couple of goals or two. He's not been happy with the amount of games he's played or missed. And, well, let's go. Newcastle are pushing forward with Anita. Now Sissoko into the first 20 seconds. And still Newcastle in possession. Now attacking on the left side. And the cross went straight to Chesney who holds on to it. And Arsenal with a free kick, and it's in. Phil Jones nods it in to give Arsenal the lead. That's his fifth goal of the season. It's a nice little tally there for the centre-back. And obviously a new signing as well for Arsenal. So into the second half we go. Corner there blocked. And Ramsey shoots top corner. Finish. What a finish. Sixth goal of the season for Aaron Ramsey. And eight minutes into the second half, and we're now leading two goals to nil. Less than half an hour gone, and Alexis Sanchez has been injured. That's not good news. Not good news at all, but we do have Andre Ayew on the bench. And um, so it looks like it's going to be him that's going to be coming on in place of Sanchez. So it's not the end of the world. We're winning 2 0. Just hold on for the three points. Might even try and grab ourselves a third. There we go. Change is made. And a quick team, touchline, touchline team talk for the boys. Into the final minute. Can we grab a third? No, we can't. There goes the final whistle. Newcastle United nil, Arsenal 2, a good victory, that's two good wins in a row, and then I think that leaves us with one game to go to try and grab this second place spot. 
thanks for watching guys if you like the video please hit like comment if you want to below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button peace